Normally the shot inside of a shotgun shell is loose. So we decided what would happen if we put it inside of a, a capsule and shot the entire capsule? What would happen? Would it even work? Or will it bust open when we try to shoot it? So we've taken 1.1 ounces of steel shot, not lead, and put it in this large polyethylene capsule. What kind of damage will it do? Will it fly straight? Let's find out. Yeah, this will kick more than the uh, ketchup, I think. Slightly. Yeah. Okay, hit her. <laughs> yeah, that one flew the way it's supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> The encapsulated steel shot round worked pretty well. It traveled at over 1250 feet per second and was somewhat accurate. What was odd, it appeared the tail end was flying forward for some reason. It may have just been tumbling and it just randomly chose to fly in that direction at that point. Our second round is slightly different. In this one, we filled just the nose of the projectile with lead shot. The remainder of the shell was filled with activated charcoal. This is just a filler. It's a lot lighter, a lot less dense than the lead shot. By creating a round that is very nose heavy like that, we can utilize the drag created by the rest of the shell to stabilize the round and make it fly straight. Now the odd thing is we load this into the shell backwards. If we were to load it like we see here with the stem facing the shot cup, well the stem would get crushed and probably break open. So we load it in backwards and when it's shot it'll flip around and fly straight. How weird is that? Okay this is the carbon shot capsule. Okay hit it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay, hit it. The book we shot at was about two and a half inches thick, and the round went through it like the book was made out of styrofoam or something. It was pretty astonishing to see, actually. Here we see the round frame by frame as it comes into focus, and we can see that it just barely makes its 180 degree transition by the time it hits the book. So it hit very close to the center of the book where Darren was aiming and it did enter straight into the book. And you can see the big black mark from the activated charcoal on the plywood backstop. Now we have shot a lot of very weird rounds out of a shotgun. This one is right up there in the weirdness scale. But it actually worked quite well and this round I think performed better than the one full of steel shot. It, it must have flipped around and started going straight. Look how, I mean, you're almost in the center. Yeah. And just blew the uh, backside out of this thing. That's crazy. Look at the, look on the ground. It punched him. Oh. That's freaking awesome. Wow. Wow. It literally is almost the same size as a shot cut. Look at that. <laughs> it punched him because I saw one in the back. Yeah, it's a you got a debris pile here. That, oh, geez. Oops. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that. Did it go out the back? It did. It's stuck in this wood here. Is that it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Holy crap! It blackened. That's all the carbon in it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Remember, it, it just had a little bit of a third of an ounce of, of lead shot. Yeah, but oh, lead, that was awesome. Lead a and there you have it, the self-stabilizing, encapsulated, whatever this is called. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.